Hi, this is Liz with A-Hit Fixer. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove and replace your motherboard on your ASUS ZX50 series laptop computer. But anyway, that's enough talking. On to the repair. So first make sure your machine is unplugged and take out the battery because we don't want any power obviously going to the motherboard when we're taking it out. Now you're going to remove screws here and here. And then we're going to take our pry tool and we're going to go ahead and start prying while pushing it down away from the computer. And lift it up just like so. Next we're going to remove screws from here, 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 here. here. And we're going to pull out the hard drive and the caddy. Here is another screw and then pull out the DVD. Take out the screw here. And then here. And then we're going to flip the machine over. Go ahead and flip the computer over. We're going to take our pry tool because now the palm rest is detached from the bottom case and we're going to start prying along the edge, lifting it up. And this can be a little hard but just keep wiggling and lifting, wiggling and lifting and eventually you'll get it loose. Alright, now we're going to detach the cables. Alright, so you can see one of the cables for the keyboard, for the backlit keyboard came undone. So that would usually you'd have to lift up that flap. Now the other keyboard cable lifts up the flap, pull out the cable. Once again for the touchpad cable, lift up the flap, pull out the cable. All right, now it's ready to be separated. And there's your motherboard. That's what we're looking for. Now you're going to take your screwdriver. We're going to start working on that fan and removing all the screws. Just like so. Go ahead and detach the cable. We're going to remove the LCD cable, lifting up that film. It can be really pesky. Once you get it up, pull it off, and then gently slide out that LCD cable. Careful, use the little tabs on the side help, little metal tabs. Alright, detach the Wi-Fi cables and then go ahead and that screw holding down the Wi-Fi card, you're going to unscrew. Next, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to push that power jack cable out. This little square, ta little square uh, piece of plastic that's easy to use. You're going to do the same similar thing with the, the audio cable. And then one more screw for the fan. And now your motherboard is free. So you're going to go ahead and pull it out by the non-port side first and then the other will just slide right out. And then you can go ahead and you can take your other motherboard and put it in the wrong way first here. You should put it in where the USB ports and all that is first. As you'll see it will give me trouble. And there we go. Port side first. And this can take a little wiggling and moving around. You also want to make sure, as you see, pull out all the cables so they're on top of the motherboard so you'll be able to easily put them back, put plug them back in. Now you're going to go ahead and start screwing your fan back down. This fan gave me a little bit of trouble, so you might have the same experience. Alright, 
go ahead and reattach your Wi-Fi cables. And then plug back in your power jack. Reattach your LCD cable. Plug back in your audio. And then your USB cable. And you close it just like that. And then you're going to take your palm rest and put it on this put the side by the LCD in first. Make sure your cables are all laying down well. And then you put the backlit keyboard cable in first. Lift that flap up, slide it in, line it up, and shut it. That line should be close to the the part where the flap closes so they should be at least close to each other that line on the cable with the with the flap that comes down can be a little bit tricky So once everything's in there, now before you go ahead and and uh, shut everything up, give it a good look, make sure you put it in real well, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go around, and you're just going to close everything up, pushing down, getting it all shut up nicely, and you're going to bring it down and flip it over. Now we're going to put all those screw back, screws back that we took, alright, so a shout out, I forgot to put the screw underneath the DVD, so don't forget that before putting it in. Now we're going to take the hard drive and we're going to put that back in. Screw there, 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 and there. Put a screw there, 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 here, there, here, there. This is the part of the video where I slide out the DVD and show you the screw I missed. There we go. Alright, now you go ahead and you put that panel back in. Put two screws there. Slide the battery in. And lock it. Just like that, and now you're finished. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you find that you like free IT advice, if you like knowing how your computer works and seeing how it can be repaired, then go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.